A challenging puzzle, to be sure. I love the thrill of a good solution. This took some creative thinking. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone.
Salary, I now give you the spectre. <laughs> is an excavating machine. It's used to dig up artifacts. Very impressive. A digger, eh? I'll bet I could take that thing. Luke, you've done a fine job. Thank you, Professor. Someone built this machine to dig up the Golden Garden. The rumors of its existence here in Miss Tallery were too tempting. This machine was searching for the entrance to the Golden Garden as it dug up various parts of town. These repeated excavations slowly weakened the land, resulting in the sinkholes we observed. Lucia wasn't attacking the town. She was trying to stop this machine. The spectre that everyone saw was Lucia battling the machine. Behind the thick fog, the two appeared to be a single entity rampaging through the town. The fog was a man-made creation. This was key to understanding the true nature of the spectre. The perpetrator produced thick fog to hide his tracks and was then able to dig anywhere in town. What's this about a man-made fog? Creating fog requires quite a bit of water. Our suspect used water from the canals to make the fog. Lucia sensed this disturbance and attacked the machine. The fog completely obscured their battle. Is, is this a joke? A gentleman rarely resorts to punchlines. Luke here noted that the water levels in the canals dropped whenever the spectre appeared. It was then that I realized that this spectre could not be the spectre of legend. Someone was clearly taking advantage of the folk tale. Quite an interesting revelation. However, the question stands. What evil mastermind could be behind such a thing? The final question. It was someone drawn by the lure of the Golden Garden. A person willing to destroy the town to satisfy a lust for personal glory. Someone who now stands among us. This same person is responsible for spreading lies about the Spectre all over town. And that person is you! <gasps> what? There must be some sort of mistake, Mr. Layton. I'm just a butler. How on earth could I have done any of this? You kidnapped Mrs. Triton and threatened to harm her if Clark didn't keep quiet about your plot. With Clark under your thumb, you were free to do as you pleased in town. And you, Chief Jakes, you were Dolan's accomplice all along. You two hatch this plot, hoping to unearth the Golden Garden. Layton! Quite amusing, Mr. Layton. However, I'm sorry to say I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm delighted you find humor in this. I, however, do not. Allow me to explain. Well, well by all means. Luke noticed the low water levels I mentioned earlier. He recorded all the data in his notebook. But, as it happens, some of his entries turned out to be incorrect. These were mistakes made by his source of information. A certain informant, we'll call him. However, even when Luke's predictions were wrong, residents were still evacuated from the neighborhoods where the spectre appeared. Isn't that odd? I find that odd. Doland, do you find that odd? I will take that as a yes. You see, Doland, even without Luke's predictions, you knew when and where the spectre would strike. You warned the residents not for their safety, but so they would not see what the spectre really was. That is why you passed along Luke's warnings in the first place. 
You certainly do not disappoint. Congratulations. That was truly Leighton-esque. Professor, just like you said, I found them in Mr. Triton's cellar. The real Dolan and Mrs. Triton were being held captive down there. I freed them from the cellar and took them to safety. It is clear enough that you are not Doland Noble, the Triton family's faithful butler. So tell us who you really are. You are correct, Professor Layton. It's time to end this charade. Huh? <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is so bad. You said we wouldn't get caught. What an ugly little man you are. And Jakes, you killed Mr. Bard, didn't you? <sighs> no, no, I'll just change the will. Bard's death was an accident. I'll just make everything go to clock. Well, I forged the will, sure, but only because he told me to. Oh, is that why? Apparently, I made a pact with a small-minded dullard. How truly unfortunate. Why did you just call me? A dullard, a fool, a nitwit. Leighton, your intellect is formidable. I have truly enjoyed this. You have us at a disadvantage. Indeed, my name is Descolet. I am an artistic man of science with rather lofty goals. Descolet? It really is a pity. I had high hopes that the Golden Garden was here. It was all such a waste of time. And this meaningless town. I'll have my fun by destroying it. Well now, I believe the time has come. Magnificent! I do believe the townspeople are in for a treat. The spectre was but a prologue. Now for the grand finale.
I've got this one. That puzzle was no problem. Handle this one, Professor. You can't let a puzzle intimidate you. This is right. That was it. This one. I did it, Professor. Handle this one, Professor. You can't let a puzzle intimidate you.
A challenging puzzle, to be sure. No puzzle is without an answer. Ready, Luke? We're ready! Hmm, they have yet to give up. Such admirable tenacity. What's this? No, Professor! Huh? <clears throat> Is that it? Doubtful. Very doubtful. <gasps> well, Essa, any other ideas? <laughs> Where is she going? doing? Oh, I get it. Come on, guys. We've got to help. What should we do? Break down the floodgate. But why? To protect the town. Huh? Just trust me. Something? What is it? It's water. Hurry, run! Huh? Ah! <laughs> no! Save the town! Great work, Lucia! That is one helpful sea creature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fortune favoured you today. <sighs> Savour this victory, Leighton. Only certain defeat lies in your future. Witnessing your downfall will be delicious. Impossible! The Professor will never lose to the likes of you! Such spirit in this one. Leighton, soon you will see that you cannot defeat me. But I believe that is for another time. <laughs> Descoli. I feel as though I've seen him somewhere before. But I can't quite remember where. 